Ready. Prepare for liftoff. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the K1 Agenda, episode 150. Today is March 17th, 2023. My milestone episode. 150 weeks in the making, in a row. I started this out before the pandemic, and let me tell you, this has changed my whole look on the way I do everything with my business, with the way I run Puzzle Box Records, with the way I um, um, just run everything with the way my social media is. Um, I now have management uh, that's guiding me and um, you know a new booker, booking agency and everything. And it's just, it just, it's great to have that because I work really hard. Nobody's gonna outwork me. You're not gonna outwork me because I work hard and I love this stuff. I love what I do. And I have so much to share with the world and so much to share with people who've never heard of me. And that's the great thing about it because I have so much music. I have a huge catalog, which I 100% own. And any of the other music that I have done in the past, I still have my ownership. So listen, uh, can't be happier um, and, and can't be more motivated than what I'm doing now. But let's start off with this once again. Episode 150, can you believe it? This is a milestone episode. Um, let me just say this. Um, I hope to be doing a whole lot more, 150 more. We can get to 300 episodes. Um, but I want to put you up on something. A couple of uh, gigs before you get the before the flyers go out there on um, you know on social media. Um, I do have a special day coming up in Detroit. In, in Detroit, April 1st. That's at the uh, Marble Bar Detroit Club. It is a, a techno club that brings in um, artists from all over the world. I'm so glad they have me on a prime time. I'm gonna be doing a special three hour set. Once again, that's April 1st at the Marble Bar. I'm going to be doing it up. 
You don't want to follow me. You don't want to be after me. My set is going to be amazing. I'm, it's not a brag. It's not a boast. It's just what I'm going to do. Um, please know that I am a, on a mission on this year. People don't forget I am a DJ. So it's on and popping. Also, get ready for it. April 22nd. That's on a Saturday. It's going to be the Speaker Box um, Coffee Bar Takeover. The event will be called Fragments. It's a Puzzle Box Records take, Takeover. It's called Fragmented. I'm sorry. Fragmented is a Puzzle Box Records taking over, taking over. There will be a special guest, Brian Bonds, who will be doing DJ sets in the Orange Room and also in the VIP area upstairs. I will be doing a special, special DJ set of Electro and a special DJ set of Techno. Um, in both rooms. Also, I will be having some uh, brand new um, fragmented uh, fragments EP for uh, sign uh, there to sign for a few people uh, for a giveaway, record giveaway. So please be there. It's a very small, quaint place, but it's a uh, it's just a nice vibe, man. And I, I went there uh, a couple of Tuesdays ago, and um, you know just did a little test run, man. I had a ball, man. I had everybody dancing. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed. Um, you know the, the guys how they um, put this uh, put the, put their events together, man. They're very supportive and their hospitality is unmatched. I really appreciate that. So get ready for that. Not only that, I will be announcing more dates coming for some summer events and also some maybe some festivals in the summer of um, the summer for 2023. Also, up and coming is a special special date. For Deep Space Radio, where I will be doing a, uh, a, a one-hour special DJ set. We're going to have a, a minimal Detroit takeover. I'm going to be doing a K1 set. It's a special DJ set. And let me tell you this. When I do this special set, it's going to be a set and more of a party scene. It's going to be a lot. Probably going to have somebody hyping it up and everything. And I'm just going to go for it and put together a special electro set. And I hope you enjoy it. Matter of fact, I know you will enjoy it. I will have more information on that and a flyer coming soon. So get ready for that. Also, remember my studio work, Fusion EP, is completed. I am waiting on one remix from an artist that I really like, and I think he's gonna do something different. He wanted to extend the time because he wanted to make it just right. So it's finished. Once he gives it to me, I'm turning that Fusion uh, EP in. I mentioned Fusion before. I already turned one in and I was not happy with it. I just thought that it didn't have enough of me in it, so I remixed mine. And remember, Fusion is me and Max Durant from Italy. Uh, so get ready for that. Also, I will also be releasing um, in a, uh, probably a month or two the um, repressing of Hubble, which was Optic Nerve, Strand, and Positronics mixes. So that's a repress that's coming out that I will be re uh, repressing. So get ready for that. Also, the new aug Augmentations EP that I'm working on, I have one more track to do. Right here in the background, what you're hearing, that's Augmentations 1. This is just, you know, kind of broke down just one a couple of parts or whatever and I just thought it would just be a little bit unique just to play part of it in the background but um, my Optic Nerve project is going to be nice uh, when you hear the rest of this is sweet and if you have been checking me out on social media I've been doing sessions where I'm showing you different parts of what I'm playing also after that I have one more release to do for the Optic Nerve augmentations after that I'm moving right on to K1 Electro stuff and it will be different um, it will be different. It will have some vocals and some vocoder stuff, but it will be different on the drums. It will be different on some bass lines and chords. I want to try to, you know, expand and do some different things with the style of music that I do. And once again, Optic Nerve is my techno stuff. Techno is more of a spacier, you know, more um, chords and strings and stuff, uh, more heady stuff. And the uh, K1 Electro is straight up dance for, you know, the hood for, um, you know, just dance. It's just, I mean, when you hear it, you want to dance. Simple as that. That's the alternative stuff that's sort of like clear and planet rock, that type of sound. That's what electro is for those who don't know. Also, get ready because I've mentioned this before. My social media is really, really been getting really busy. I've, I've gained so many followers, but I've also just opened up a new SoundCloud page. So you can go to SoundCloud and, and hear some of my DJ mixes. I have a special house mix that I did. I have um, a techno mix I did. And I also have a special electro mix I did with a lot of tracks on there, all unreleased tracks. 
So get ready for that. Not get ready for it, it's already there. Here's the link, you can go check it out. And remember, always check out everything that's below. You can see all the links and stuff, but my new SoundCloud page, you can check that out. And I'll be happy uh, for people to you know leave their comments on what they think, what tracks they like, and all that type of stuff. But also, remember this, um, I have um, a new booking agency that I uh, work with, and their name is Groom Lake Agencies out of the Netherlands. Uh, that is Steve and Marco. Thank you guys. And now I actually have management, which helps me tremendously. I also have management now. That helps me tremendously. Getting advice and telling me what to do, how to do it, and put, put people. People are promoting me and putting me in different places. It's, it's, it's really nice to work with uh, people who are working so-called with you, and you're working as well. So that's the kind of person I am. I've always wanted, when I'm working with somebody, I'm gonna do my part, but yeah, you gotta do your part too. And you can't, um, I won't even go into that. This is my thing, it's the K1 Agenda. It's all about me, and that's the way it's always gonna be. For now on, it's gonna be about me. I'm gonna get that name um, out to those people who never heard of me, and that's what it's all about. But the new booking agency, once again, that is Groom Lake Agency, you can contact them at the link below um, if you want to book some more dates. But we have a lot of dates coming up. We just got to get confirmations on the dates. And I'm not going to just be playing overseas. I will be playing in the States as well. So get ready for that. Also, the new PBX 36 Fragments EP. The new PBX 36 Fragments EP with the color white label and the uh, color jacket. That's my brand new release out now. And once again, remember the speaker box, come there because I will be giving away a, a couple of free ones and signing them if people want them signed. And um, thank you for all your support of this release. It's doing very well. And also, uh, another new release I have, remember that's Optic Nerve and this is K1. And that's PBX35, the unidentifiable EP, which is DJ Mako and myself, K1. Mako's track is called For the People, and my track is called On My Computer. So pick that up and get ready. I'm also about to finish up Fragments. I have one more track, and then, like I said, I'm moving on to the Electro track. I also will mention, I do have an uh, a EP that um, is in the process of being finished and mastering. That is a K1 EP, and it's called My Name is DJ K1. Um, it's very, very good dance track, and I think people will like it. I've actually previewed it on, you've heard some of it in my mixes, and you've also heard it on some of my old previous shows. I used to use it for the beginning, but no better way to promote yourself than uh, name your 12 inch, uh, what your name is, and also have that in the lyrics. I learned that earlier on when I was um, uh, getting on labels. You know, you try to make stuff that people can remember. And go to the record store, they know the name of it. That's why it's good to always do vocals. But on that note, I want to say to everybody, thank you so much. This is episode 150, Milestone, and you are listening to K1, and this is the K1 Agenda. See you in the next segment. Let's go check out that Thoughts of the Week. Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to let you know that now the Optic Nerve t-shirts is available. Alien FM t-shirts is available. All my designs I did formerly when I was in AUX88, all the designs I did for Direct B Classics, all the Detroit designs I did, you can get them in t-shirts, hoodies, um, baseball shirts, coffee mugs, phone cases, um, laptop bags, everything is available. And you can order this and have pretty good, reasonable shipping because the t-shirts are printed in, in countries all around the world. So please take note. Here's the, uh, the link and you can buy all the material and keep watching out because I have a sale twice a month where it's 35% off everything in the store. So thank you once again for supporting and look for those new designs coming. Thank you. K1 out. Thoughts of the week. This show is entitled Episode 150, 
Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming here. Welcome to the episode 150, the milestone episode. Well, let me just say this. As this being my 150th episode, 150 weeks in a row, um, it's been um, uh, an important journey for me. It's been a busy uh, journey for me. It's been a hard working journey for me. Um, and then it made, you know, sometimes I realize, I'm like, man, I don't know if I can keep doing these videos because I got this going on. I got to record this. I got that going on. And then I stop and say, wait a minute, what are you complaining about? Isn't it? This is what you always wanted to do. This is your livelihood. This is what you do. And then when I do that, it, 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 it re-inspires me. And then I just do it. And, and I love the fact that I've always been the kind of person that um, I'm a dreamer. I always, um, I, I, I put together a plan. If that means writing it down and put it, put it into words, and that's what I'll do, and I'll figure it out. If it's something I need to learn, I'll write it down, and I'll go learn, read, figure out what it is and how to do it and get it done. Whether I'm with uh, friends or any other groups that I've been in, it's like if we say, if I say I'm going to do something, that's very important to me and very important to me to let people know who I've told that to that it will be done so that they know that um, I'm a person that they can um, trust and whenever I say I'm going to do something, it's going to be that way. Um, I've always been that way. I'm very um, attentive to what I do and I have make no bones about it. People can make jokes about it or whatever or you know what kind of person I am but if you really truly really truly know me you know that I get things done and I'm a um, I'm a very loyal friend. I'm a very loyal person to a fault. If I, um, you know, if, if I, if I love you as a friend, I'm there for you. Um, I'll do anything you need. I'm that type of person. But you throw me under the bus and you play me ball, I can get vicious. And I don't mean vicious like you know violent, but it's just like I just, I'll just cut you off, and that's what I do. But. The 150 uh, episode with this Thoughts of the Week is very important because it's not just about just being a, me doing this episode 150 weeks in a row. It's the journey that I took. All those times when, you know, um, I, was getting, I was getting emails from uh, people still related to AUX88. I left AUX88 three years ago three years ago and it's not frustrating because you know I, I, the guys in AUX88 are some of the most talented people in the world when they focus and when they want to do some work but when you send me messages related to AUX88 I really shouldn't be answering them back you should answer you should send those messages to them but I think the most frustrating part about it which I've gotten over now it's not even a big deal people just don't know it's all good when people um, say they've been watching me and they keep up with everything I'm doing, but yet you ask me about me being an AUX88, so that meant that you didn't keep up with what I'm doing, you're not watching my page. And it's just amazing how many people just send, send messages just to ask me questions about, you know, doing stuff, or I've had a few um, labels approach me for licensing some music that I did with AUX88. And I said, you know what, you should send that to AUX88. I, Never got an answer back, don't know what happened with that. And that's okay, that's all right. Um, that's why it's all about the K1 agenda. Um, I've also, I wanna speak on this before uh, people keep asking me this too. Today is March 17th, 2023. Um, now nah, I'll let that go, I'll let that go. Today is March 17th, 2023. I will say this. Everybody that was ever involved with um, AUX88, um, who got us our start, the Burton Brothers, I wish them nothing but luck. Um, I wish Tommy Hamilton nothing but luck. Great person, all the talent in the world. I used to spend years like giving those guys praise. BJ, great keyboardist, man, great guys. Those guys have so much talent. I wish them all luck. Um, the Burton Brothers, uh, with what they're doing with uh, Octave One, those guys are great. But you know what? I had to realize something. Hey, I might be kind of pretty, I might have some skills too, you know? And for a long time, I felt like I have to have somebody tell me that. I don't need nobody to tell me that. My music and my catalog speaks for itself. So when I sit here once again and I tell you it's the episode 150, Thoughts of the Week, man. It, it brings up so many things, but I am completely 
happy. I am completely, I don't get upset about that stuff anymore. When people ask me anything related to AUX88, I can't do nothing but be speak positive of it because all the stuff that I was a part of, I put my uh, heart into it and I made great music. Um, I had fun times with those guys. I've been knowing them for years. Um, Black Tony, I mean, you know, I, we and him still do stuff together and everything. And, um, you know, that guy, that guy just been, you know, like I said, by my side, always pushing me, you know, calling me saying, hey, man, you're doing this and you're taking care of business. That's great, man. I wish it could be like that with us, but it's not. And I'm cool with that. I think it's time for the K1 agenda, optic nerve, all that stuff. Maybe I didn't shouldn't have spoke on it, but I think it's time to say that I don't have anything negative to say about anybody that I've worked with in the past. I'm just doing me and doing me with um, a happiness, a, a glow. And like I said, in the earlier portion of my um, episode 150, I have some shows coming up, some DJ dates that I'm going to be playing in Detroit. Now, here's the thing with Detroit. I have said in the past, a lot of people know this song, I was never going to be playing in Detroit. I said I wasn't going to play in Detroit. When I said I wasn't going to play in Detroit, I wasn't going to play any live shows in Detroit. Because if I'm going to play a live show in Detroit, it's got to be at a certain caliber. I've been doing this for years, and our stage shows were amazing. And you can't just come back home and just do something really small. I don't do that. But for me now, with the DJ, I'm going to play every place in Detroit to prove my point. Show and prove, and it's on and popping. Once again, thank you for listening to my thoughts of the week, 150. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support I've been getting from my family, cousins, aunts, um, people from overseas. Especially, I've been getting a lot of a lot of love from Australia, a lot of love from um, China and Japan. That, that was like, wow, cool. So many um, messages on Instagram. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So, if you're in Detroit, keep it up. Come, keep it up by staying on my page. You'll be, you'll be seeing these flyers come out where I'm going to be playing. It's on and popping. <laughs> and thank you all for your support. This has been Thoughts of the Week, episode 150. Hey, shout outs. As always, um, this is getting, man. Me and my father was talking about this all the other day, man. This is my brother. His name is Mark Antonio Tucker. He is 58 years old. If you know him or if you've seen him or you work with him or whatever and you know his whereabouts, please contact me at PuzzleBox at PuzzleBoxRecords.com so we can get back in touch with my brother because I want him to see his parents. They're, they're getting older. They'll be coming up on... Um, um, next month on their 59th wedding anniversary. 59 years together, man. That's amazing. So listen, thank you all. Thank you all for the support and all the questions you've been asking about my brother and telling me different ways to maybe try to contact him. I hope I can find you, bro. Uh, reach out. And if anybody out there knows him, please get in contact. I'm not trying to be cocky, but you can look up my name on the internet and you can get any information on me. Anybody who knows him. Um, but this week, I want to move on. So I want to send a special shout out to Ted Crisco. Uh, um, Ted, thank you so much for Marble Bar Detroit, man. He was very, uh, I want to say, uh, condolences to you uh, for your mother's passing. Man, nothing like having a mom. I don't know what that's like to lose a mother. I lost a mother-in-law, and that was hard. But um, thank you so much for your support with uh, bringing me to Marble Bar, giving me prime time, and um, believing in me and like saying, do what I do. And thank you. I'm looking forward to playing a Marble Bar. Thank you. Um, also, shouts out to my mom and pop. This is 150 episodes. They be keeping up with me. And it's like, thank you guys. I love y'all uh, for y'all support and um, just being there for me. And um, thank you. And I will say this. Um, I'll be calling y'all today. This is my moms and pops. Uh, love you guys. This will be the last time. This will be the last time that I speak on, on anything related to me and AUX88. Not a negative thing. This is the K1 agenda, man. This is the K1 agenda. I wish them all the love. Great. I have nothing to say. Those guys are multi-talented. I know what they're capable of doing. But this will be my very last time ever speaking about it on my K1 Agenda show. Because that's what it's called. K1 Agenda. 
Thank you so much. This has been episode 150. Thank you, everybody, for your support. And I just wanted to say, everyone, please hit that subscribe button for YouTube and please subscribe to my page. Um, I really have enjoyed all the support I've been getting, but hey, like this and subscribe to this page. Keith Tucker K1, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.